Yeah, everybody, my name is Lowell, and welcome to the channel. We've got some more Brooklyn Nine-Nine today. We've got episode five. This one is called The Vulture. So let's jump in, um, and let's watch this episode. So let's Where are we on the Lincoln Place murder? Well, like I told Captain Holt earlier this week, we are at the one-yard line. It's a football reference. Yes, Jake. I played linebacker at Syracuse. Peralta, you want to loop everyone in? Eh. That was not a request. Meet Fred Gorman. Prominent citizen, lawyer, corpse. Now meet his wife, Ann Hort. She did not take his last name, but I believe she did take his life. For some reason, the DA won't move forward with the arrest until we find the knife she used. Is that reason that they want to win the case? Yes. I'm going to ask you again. Do you need any resources or personnel? No, sir. I've got it. OK. OK, how can we help? What do you need? I need nothing. I'm about to solve this case, meet the mayor, and sell my life rights to Channing Tatum so he can play my less attractive brother in the ensuing film. Will you just let us help? Okay, fine. I will let one of you help me. Charles. Yeah! And I am choosing Charles because he's the least likely to steal my thunder. Terry, I'd like you to accompany me to a gun range. You mean drive you there and wait outside? Far away from the guns? I haven't fired a weapon since the incident. The mannequin incident. I'm familiar. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Another incident. Oh my God! You gotta cool it, man. He used to be the precinct's champion marksman. I only want to take pointers from the best, so I'll keep it low key. We'll go after work to a private range. No cops, no pressure. Blam! Ooh. Blam! Blam! Gun range. I told Gina she could join us. I want to get certified. There has been a ton of crime in my neighborhood, and the cops in my precinct are very bad. You live in our precinct. Yeah. I know. Well, since I've already told you like three times no, why don't I just record it, then I don't have to say it again. The hallway, like all other hallways, does not have a secret knife hiding place. <laughs> okay. Peralta! Yo, I looked at the photos of your victim on your desk. What's up, Rosa? Sorry, I said hi. The puncture wounds are similar to a case I had a while back. They aren't from a knife. I think it's something spiral, like a corkscrew. You better get back here, now. Oh, hello, Peralta. Oh, no, no, no. I don't know why you're so upset, man. I'm the one who had to come into this backwater stinkhole. Captain, please, please, pretty please do not let him take over my case. Major Crimes is stepping in. Nothing I can do. You're off the case. You're the one who insisted on working alone. I told you for weeks to use the squad, and you refused. I used them. I mean, Rose is the one who figured out the corkscrew, and Charles caught a dog. Well, congratulations, Detective Boyle. You should have involved them sooner. Hey, you know, before I solve this case, I'd like to thank you for doing all the super easy work. You know, the real Nancy Drew level stuff. Oh, yeah? Did Nancy Drew solve a lot of murders? Yeah, she did. Murder on Ice, Recipe for Murder. Nancy was a wonderful detective. I wanted to be her when I grew up. Oh, wow. Looking good, Santiago. Looking foxy, ma. Go rot in hell. This is your fault. Thanks, champ. Good effort. I got it from here. And hey, you feel free to call me anytime you need me to come down here and help powder that big white ass of yours. Mm. I hate the vulture so much. Me too. Mm hmm. Sorry you got vultured. Happens to the best of us. God, I just, I want to get back at him so bad. I wish I could throw his cell phone in the toilet or slash his tires. I don't know. Or slash his gorgeous throat. I cannot figure you out. Why are you counting my shots? Are you trying to have me recertify? Yes. If you make eight of 10 shots, I can sign off on you carrying a gun again. Gina's here as an official witness, and I thought it'd be easier for you in a no-pressure environment. I can't believe you tricked me. You're too good a cop to be shackled to a desk. Now, you only have one hit until you get recertified. So deep breath, huh? Take the final shot. Take the shot, Sergeant. I just need a second. You've had 18 minutes of seconds. Gina's authentic stolen police badges. How can I help? Hey, it's Peralta. Oh, hey, Jake. Peralta, why are you asking Gina about Detective Pembroke? Oh, Captain, hello. Uh, we are preparing him a gift basket of sorts. Look, I understand that you're upset. But if you want to keep this from happening again, I suggest that you pull your team together and solve these cases before major crimes can step in. You should be frowning. 
Why is Jake smiling? Why are you smiling? Because the captain just gave us the perfect revenge plan. We team up and solve this case right now. That is not what he meant. I mean, think about it, Amy. We go back to the scene of the crime, find the murder weapon, and out vulture the vulture. No one gets in trouble if we crack the case. You're real talkative now that you want our help. All right, it is possible that I should have brought you guys in sooner, but I just get so excited, wrapped up in wanting to solve stuff, you know? Like, I, I get it. You want to be the best. We all do. You just don't have to be such a butthead about it. Still waiting, Sergeant. It's just the target looks exactly like a friend of mine. It's just freaking me out. You have a friend who's just a silhouette? Yes. All right, here's how it went down. 9.45, a man screams. 90 seconds later, wife goes down to the doorman, says a guy murdered her husband and then ran off. We know she's lying. We just got to find the corkscrew to make our case airtight. OK, uh, sweetheart. Time to die. That yeah, seems a little harsh. Oh. What if it was a magnetic corkscrew? If the corkscrew was on a magnet. It's stuck halfway down the inside of the trash chute. I figured it out first. Oh, wow. <laughs> What's happening? Anything? <laughs> a little lower. Freeze, hands in the air. Oh, no. We're cops. Broad shoulders, stuck. Told you, broad shoulders. Apparently, our detective squad has gotten drunk, compromised the crime scene, and an officer has gotten stuck in the trash chute. I need you to lead this squad, Terry. And I mean really lead it. Oh, Holt is going to kill you. I don't think he will, because... Voila. You actually found the corkscrew in the trash chute? Stuck to the side, just like you said. Boyle, I'm pulling you out! Whoa! This is the proudest moment of my career. <laughs> oh, my God, you guys, we out-vultured the vulture. What the hell was that? Peralta, now. <sighs> OK, before you get mad. Shut it. Holt was right. I've been so worried about my own kids, I forgot about my stupid growing up kids. But if you ever do this again, I swear I will crush your head in one hand. You don't mean that. Try me. OK. Boss is taking heat for something that's not even his fault. I can't let that happen. Wait. Damn it. Look. It's not your fault either, and it's not the vulture's fault. It's Amy's. I know, I know, it's mine. It's mine, okay? God, I do not love how this worked out. And now what? I'd like to cordially invite you to calm down, especially considering that this case has already been solved. By you. Looks like you found the murder weapon. It's a good thing you realized it was magnetically stuck to the inside of the trash chute. Congratulations. Hmm. Crack the case all by yourself. We're done here? Yeah. Yeah, we're done here. Oh. All of you broke into a crime scene under the influence of alcohol, overstepped your jurisdiction, and disobeyed my direct orders. Everyone involved tonight is going to get written up. OK, fine. Here's everyone who is there. Jake Peralta, Jay Peralta, Dr. Jacob Peralta, who has a PhD in slow jam studies from Funktown State University, also involved was the right honorable J. OK, I know. My point is, it was a Peralta special, sir. No one else was there. Well, detective, I'm happy to see you learning how to be part of a team. Sir, thank you. Ultimately, it was our raw sexual chemistry that helped him overcome his crippling fear. You should just stay in the office all day, every day, and be my bestie. You could join my dance troupe, Floorgasm. We're looking for a man of precisely your <laughs> It's going to be a long road, but I'm ready to get myself back in the game. Jake, I have to say, the way you handled things with the vulture yesterday was very mature. Well, sometimes in life, you just have to take the high road. Oop, time's up. I can't wait to see it. Oh, here we go. That's oh. a good section. <sighs> Check it out. Perfect, right? Yeah. Dear Vulture, enjoy my big white ass. Jake. Ah. Here you are. <sighs> Always take the high road, Charles. Always take the high road. From your lawn. Not a doctor. Shh. Oh my god. That's hilarious. That is hilarious.
<laughs> well, that's the episode. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed that. We'll be back next time. Uh, that one was hilarious. That was hilarious. So, uh, I'm sure there's more hilarity to come in the next episode. Stay safe, and I'll see you soon in the next episode. Did you enjoy that video? Why not watch another one?